Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to create a bubble chart. Here's my data, sales, profit margin, units sold. Units sold will initially be used to define the size of the bubble. I will show you how to change it to profit margin. So you want to first of all, just select the numbers in your data. You then go to insert in the charts group, go to this scatter graph and bubble charts button and choose bubble down there. Just make the chart a little bit bigger. So as I said, at the moment, the size of the bubble is defined by the unit sold. But if you want to change that, go to the chart design tab on your ribbon, go to the select data button, and then click on edit here. And you can see you've got your X values, your Y values and your bubble size here. So column D is being used for the bubble size. I want it to actually be column C. So I just define column C as my bubble size. Then column D would be used for the Y values. And then I can just click on OK and then on OK again. So I don't need this negative value on the vertical axis. So I'm just going to double click on the vertical axis and then specify zero as my minimum value. So the next thing we're going to do is show labels on the bubbles. So if you go to the plus button or the chart elements button, top right of the chart, and then go to data labels, go to the sub menu and go to more options. So we want to show the name of the product against each of these bubbles. So if I tick value from sales, I can then select the values in column A. I get the name of each product on the chart now. And I don't want to show the Y value. That's the unit sold. I want to show the bubble size. So the profit margin. Now, if I want to show axis titles, I'll go to my plus button again, tick axis titles there. And I can actually link the axis titles to the column headings that I've got in my data. So the vertical axis title should be linked to unit sold. So with it selected, I go up to the formula bar, type equals, click into D1, press enter. And the horizontal axis title would be linked to the sales column. So again, I select it, go up to the formula bar, type equals, click into B1. I don't need a chart title, so I'll just get rid of that. Now, the only other thing you might want to do is change the position of these labels. It's a bit messy at the moment. If you drag the label, it does draw a nice leading line to the bubble it's referring to. So I'll let you play around with those positions yourself, but I'll just quickly do them on this chart. If you want to change the color of the bubbles, if you click on one of the bubbles, it selects all of them. And then over here on the right of your screen, you can expand the fill section and then choose a different color, but that'll change the color of all the bubbles. So I'll undo that. So instead of selecting all of the bubbles, what you can do is just select one. So for example, if I click on this bubble, it deselects the others, and then I can change its color. And then you can do so for each of the bubbles individually.